Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing the 2015 BMW X5. This is the uh, 35i, six cylinder, 350 horsepower. This is a new body from uh, the X5, which it started, and then the X6 came along, and the other models. So I've been driving this car since four days. I can say this is a very comfortable car. The engine is very responsive, very torquey. You can feel the turbo spooling all the time. At any time, you just press the pedal, you could feel the power. The car put you down, as you can see. It has four settings that I'm gonna go through a little bit later regards of you know the comfort and the sports settings the car do not have individual mode so you cannot really like configure all the settings like the other uh, you know BMW models especially the M models but most of the time you put it in comfort mode the car is very nice personally I like it in the sports mode even you know the RPM is always you know um, on the high side but I don't like it in comfort mode I think it's very soft and very lazy but if you have a very bouncy road I mean that will do a great job As you can hear the car pulls so hard guys there's a lot of torque I think the still there is a little bit of noise coming from the cabin but the good thing that most of the noise is actually not from the exhaust from the engine which is amazing let me put it on sport plus so you can feel a little bit the power so this is downshift so you can see there's a lot of noise coming from that engine feels like a big sports car to be honest I really like it if you drive it in a mod I mean it's so responsive but when you put the, the car in sports plus even on next five and it's not the M the traction control goes off automatically and when you use that gear shifter it's really really nice so let's say is it enough power coming from the engine from this 35 I would say yes but personally, I would still go for the bigger engine because it's still a very, very big car and very bulky car. So why not have more power and buy it? put a little bit of extra money though? That wouldn't hurt. Amazing transmission, really, really great. And that engine pulls so hard, man. Believe it or not, this engine revs up to 7,000 RPM, guys. <laughs> 7,000 RPM. This is a not M car. This is a regular BMW X5. So as you can see, again, the power plant, the engine, the suspension, the transmission, the, the whole experience the car is very comfortable. Chassis is great, so stable. So this is a great, great car. <laughs> So 
this is very good car for a daily driver it have a lot of uh, you know comfort modes which is very nice as well mind you though this is a very large car it's very large it's very wide and it's easy to hit it you know left and right you know and hit the mirrors if you don't really you know take care about your you know your driving so what are the things I don't really like about this car it's probably I would say again guys it's just the interior I mean BMW with that interior is starting to lag it's starting to look old for God's sake man they need to really like step it up I mean it's so much better than the old X5 for sure but still like compared to the, any other brand any brand from the German manufacturers even the new Jaguar there's no competition the BMW failed again but from the you know the engine response the steering is not bad at all you know there's a lot of feedback from that steering wheel I'm sure with the M is gonna be so much better but still I can see the potential this is a great chassis guys and it's a great great car <laughs> Let's take a look at the interior again starting from the door this is a wood one you can have the the plastic or you know a different materials aluminium or carbon fiber all the electronic switches here on the doors and the mirrors dual ac vents lock and lock and the lights are here you have a parking automatic parking as well the steering wheel is very thin but it's not bad uh, you have the cruise control here and you have the multimedia buttons on the right side I like the knob switching channels and stuff like that the volume here indicators and auto automatic washing stuff lights it's two small pedals they look like ears but they are made from aluminium and they feel very nice especially when they're cold the gadgets are not bad but they're lagging a lot I think they're too old now uh, but they are very clear as you can see in the daylight now there's no need for the light even the light is not so strong the rpm i like this feature here that it shows you all the time it calculates you know how efficient you are and how much you are consuming you know gas and stuff like that so there are not much features here but it's okay i mean the screen here is not the biggest but you can buy that with the multimedia stuff i think this one is okay but i would still go for a bigger one because i think the size there's a lot of space lost on the both sides this feature to save gas i will never turn it on to be honest i really don't like that at all start and stop engine button again ac vents here here the ac are very big buttons and very clear uh, the screen is still the the old one not the you know the new one with all the buttons for the you know the ac it's a dual climate control of course shortcut buttons cd as well you know nothing much happening here two cup holders you can fit here and they're adjustable they're real nice you can slide that if you want this is the regular shifter for BMW. It looks nice, but so many times you actually press the wrong button for a reason. Here you have the you know the different modes: traction control, sports, comfort. As you can see, if you just keep pressing, I would just put it in comfort if it's in the city. Sport if you're having nice roads, but sport plus you have to be careful because the traction control is gonna be more in dynamic mode or not really completely off, but still parking sensor and if you're going a very steep hill you use this one and this is for the iDrive I'm not gonna go through that guys there's a separate videos you can check my link below to see that nice compartment here one USB and there's a good space the glove box again it's not so bad actually and there's one more feature I forgot to show you you can fit some coins and stuff like that I really like this one because you can put like a big bottle of water there Dynamic lights, you can change those for different colors. This car has the panoramic sunroof. You know, it gives so much light and for the car. The back, there's a lot of good visibility again. And five-seaters. As you know, I'm not a big fan of reviewing the back. 
so let's wrap this video guys and you know I'll give you a little bit idea about this BMW if you want a big SUV car and you care more about how the car drives but still you know you're not gonna compromise too much with the you know the features and the look of the car this is an amazing car if you're looking more for a you know luxurious SUV and still German with almost the same power go for the you know Mercedes Benz and if you're willing to have a more complete experience with so much more technology but probably the ride is gonna be not it's gonna be a little bit more boring or much more boring is go for the Q7 the X5 again still one of the best in market that's for sure I just saw BMW they're gonna you know came up with a new interior as soon as possible we are in 2016 and the interior feels like 2005 2010 for me maximum this car I'm not saying there is it's bad but you know I think it starts to lag a lot and they really need to step it up as soon as possible so you know guys I did not have much time to you know shoot new videos for the past week because I've been with my family most of the time so soon we're gonna go back to the same routine and shooting more videos and upload you uh, as frequent as possible so I hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe like my video and share and see you next time